Hey everybody, Ronaldo Wofferman here with the third video, I believe, in this series of building your own media server rig. So what capture card did I use? Well, I used the Aver Media. This is the Aver TV HD DVR. It's not the highest quality capture card out there, but I'll be very frank with you. I don't do enough with the live video stuff or uh, music videos that I wanted to spend $500 to $1,000 a capture card. So the reason I chose this one, I, I, if you guys have seen my previous videos on this before, I used the Black Magic. But let me give you the real truth on Black Magic. Their customer service has been very lackluster as of late. Uh, they don't really reply to messages or they say, oh, well, we don't really work with Arceus or Resolume or whatever you decide to use. It's always been one excuse after the other. What I didn't like about it is that you have to sit there and I, like, I got to sit there and right click right, on Arceus and you choose whether it's. Uh, HDMI and or composite you know and that's normal right they all do that including this one but you'd have to nail the settings perfectly okay I want HDMI 1080p at 60 frames a second or 1080i and it's very specific this one was a lot easier for me to figure out what went where so let's open up the card real quick I'm gonna show you what it looks like there we go and by the way the quality compared to the black magic was Pretty much the same. I didn't notice a difference. Okay. Uh, if you are going to be doing a little tiny bit of text, this is you do not want a low end card. You want something that's like five hundred dollars and up. If you want a, um, you know, if you're just going to do being doing music videos and all that, this will be perfect. And the reason I say this is because this does not show like little tiny text, like twelve point text, very well. It doesn't capture that part at all. The card here, believe it or not, is only like 80 bucks, as opposed to the 160 or 180 that the Black Magic is. And the reason I started looking elsewhere wasn't really because of the issues I had with my card already, because other, other than that, it worked fine. But it was because the original Black Magic is discontinued, the Intensity Pro. Now it's the 4K. That's not a problem, except that the 4K doesn't work on PCI 1X. It requires PCI 4, 8, or 16. Most motherboards don't have that many slots because I want to have two PCI 16s ready to go to be shared, you know, in case I want to do another graphics card or whatever the case may be. So I need something that works on PCI 1X. This car works on PCI 1X, 4, 8, 16. So it'll work on whatever I need it to. So what do we have here? First of all, it does work, or you know, you have your regular mount. You also have a low pro mount right here. So you can use it for a smaller, slim computer if you want to. And you have HDMI, and then you have AVN. Now the AVN looks like HDMI, but it does not use an HDMI standard. I mean, instead, basically you have a different breakout cable. This is much better organized than the Blackmagic one too. The Blackmagic one has one that you screw in, and if you bend the pin, you're screwed. This has no pin, so you don't really bend one out. However, I have heard that if you lose this cable, you pretty much might as well buy a new card because Aver Media is not the best about giving out new cables. That's just what I've heard. I haven't had experience with it. Also, this has a built-in S-Video, whereas with the Blackmagic 4K, you got to take two of the composites, and then it's got a little breakout cable for the S-Video. I have no idea where those cables went. They're pretty much gone, so I can't do S-Video in, and I still have a lot of cameras, including the Alation EVC-MH and the Sony uh, D70 that use S-Video. So there it goes that. So we're going to go ahead and put these guys in, and uh, let's go from there. So, oh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, tune in to the next part of this video series.